Hey guys, Will from Testin. And I'm Noah from Testin. We have something special today. <laughs> uh, yes. Jer Jeremy Williams is here. Hi. Which uh, is really special. Very special. He's here on most Thursdays. It's, it's, well, it's special. It's not special. <laughs> okay. Uh, but we're joined today by people that you've never meet, met before. Uh, this is Mike Micah on my right and Kevin Wilson, uh, both from Other Ocean Entertainment. Uh, Other we Ocean? don't even know. Just Other Ocean. Other you Ocean. You guys make iDarb. We do. So we played iDarb. I think I played iDarb, iDarb first in GDC yeah, earlier in, this year. Yeah, like in March, I think it was. And and like it's a cool. It's just. It seemed like it, like it started as something. Just like, it did. It did. Yeah, it's, a, it's a video game. It is a video game, video but it started game. out as a tweet, really, at the end of the day. Okay. And just literally weeks before GDC, it kind of turned into what it was that you saw at the show. And um, we we're just tweeting about it. Like I originally, the reason it's called IDARB is that's an acronym for it draws a red box. And so I tweeted it out, and it probably helped that the first person to respond was like Tim Schafer, who's like, you should make it a morality platformer. When I was asking what I should do with this. And like then everybody who was following him said, like, oh, this is an opportunity to say what we want. And so all these people threw ideas at it. And um, I thought it would be kind of fun every night when the kids go down to bed to just try to put in these ideas as they're coming in. And at one point, I really thought it was going to be this great test case of how like crowd design is the worst possible idea. And maybe I'd come to GDC <laughs> with like, this is why you don't do it. And it's like too many cooks or whatever. Uh, well, now that means something. Timely reference. <laughs> I know. And uh, then um, it just started to become fun. So all that's going on. And then an old friend of mine, Chris Charlie, who's launching his idea at Xbox program, Microsoft's been following it. And he's like, what would it take to get it on Xbox? And I'm just like, well, give, give us some hardware. We'll figure it out. And so he sent us two kits. Kevin jumped on it right away. And what, it was a week? Was, yeah, maybe yeah. a week or so. To get that yeah, because it was time was just crunching on. We're like, OK, they're going to give us something at GDC. We thought we we're going to be in this back room or whatever. So we do all this stuff. And then they, they got back to us right before the show. They're like, you're going to be in the Microsoft lobby bar, which is a prime spot. We're right next to Titanfall. Yeah. And then <laughs> we're also going to be at their loft event, which is this big press event. And we thought we were just going to be this little prototype thing over in the corner. So it was really weird. We're standing there. And to be in this area where there's like you know all these great games and here's our thing and to uh, see people react to it, so it was it was bizarre, but it was it was pretty fun and people seemed to react well. Like you came by and saw it. I came by. I was like, this is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, so the thing that I lo I love about the game is is that it reminds me a lot of like 16-bit era yeah. couch multiplayer sports games that you, that you like. I like NHL hockey, fine, yep. but I love NHL hockey. For the Sega Genesis. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's, it's funny because like when it started to look like it was going to be a multiplayer game, you could see that everybody loves that genre, right? Because the minute they saw these boxy guys hopping around, we started getting NBA Jam references like, you've got to be able to get on fire, you got to be able to do this stuff. And passing and all the way that kind of passing game works was all coming from NHL. Even though people were suggesting it, you knew exactly where it was coming from. And some people would make direct references and, and that sort of thing. But it was awesome seeing like the games I really liked, having people really push for elements of those things all in one, one thing. And actually, for a while, it wasn't a sports game. It, you're running around shooting at each other. It was like this little deathmatch game. It was more t Towerfall than anything. And um, uh, I think it was Brandon Sheffield, a local developer, he was following it and said, put a ball in it, see what happens. And so we did. And that That's it. awesome. That's <laughs> awesome. So, so, so um, I, think, I think we should just play. We can play, and, absolutely. And you're, there's, there's all sorts of weird stuff that happens, and you're going to yeah. try to explain. I will explain it as you guys are playing, but you guys should go ahead and back out of this menu. All right. Kevin, you can drive it to drive? Yeah, let, let all right, one I'll person let, drive. I'll drive. So this is a multiplayer game with all up right. to eight players. Eight players, local and, or and, and online. Yep, online. Um, and surprise, we're in the game. We're in the game. <laughs> surprise. <laughs> it's, you know. Someone's. Needs to press I don't know how that now. happened. <laughs> <There we go. laughs> I'll, I'll come over. I'll come over. Well, I think we should do three v one. Yeah, three, three, three to one. one. Kevin's been playing I this game now challenge. for almost a year, so I just good. want to point out that wow. Chloe Bananas is here. Chloe Bananas over there. Jerry's playing as himself. I'm going to rotate through all the characters in the last ten seconds. You have Jamie there, Adam. Is that supposed to be? That's Joey, dude. Oh, Joey. That's Joey. That's a yeah. camera. He has a camera. Yep. <laughs> Gary. Gary. That's me. Yeah. That's Will. And yeah, and Jeremy's Jamie. playing I'm, as Jeremy. I'm already me, and I've got my soldering iron in my hand. Ooh, so it's up to it's four right. B, up to four v four, right? Yeah, four v four. But you also do six versus one locally. You can't do that on well, okay. one locally. You go nuts. So, why don't you explain what's going on in the while we're playing? All right. Playing. So you guys just immediately kicked into because you played this before. But ultimately, each team you see like red arrows over one team and a blue arrow over Kevin, who's his own team. Nice block. Blue is trying to get the ball into the blue goal. Red is trying to get the ball into the uh, the red goal on the, the far left. So it's you know soccer, hockey, basketball. It's everything just mashed together. So you see these lines kind of come up, these circular lines when whoever has the ball is in their area, and so you see them right there. 
The inner circle is a two point range, the next outer circle is three point, and then the furthest outer circle is a five point range. So you actually affect your score based off where you're shooting from. Oh. And if you manage to bounce the ball, you see these little, like it'll say 2x, 3x, and the ball's bouncing. If you can trick shot the ball into the goal, you get that many times multiplier on your score. Okay. So, oh, no. so more bounces, more points. Yep, as long as you don't interrupt it or grab it in between, you'll, you'll get this thing. And then oh. there's also the, um, you can walk oh. in the ball. So if you have the ball and you jump into the goal, you'll get one point for that. Oh, that was What's the most shot. points you've ever made in one goal? I've mostly, I, I think the most I've made is 30, and I've watched the AI do 60 point shots. Holy moly. Which, there's, there's this thing that we do, what we haven't even demonstrated yet, is you can actually do what we call hash bombing. So people are watching the game right now live, oh, no. if you're streaming uh. it, can tweet the game, there's this code up in the upper left hand corner to tweet to, or Twitch chat to the game and change the dynamics of the game. We can turn the lights nice out, shot, we can do all these different things, and I'll demonstrate it in the next round here. Let's see what you got. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of a novel, it's a novel thing in my game playing experience over the last, you know, few years. Like, we've, we've had a lot of, like, like, I mean, we like Samurai Gun and, and Towerfall and that kind of stuff. But this is a little more team oriented than some of that stuff is. What was that, what was that yellow dot above my head? So you got dizzy. Somebody head stomped you. They can actually stomp down by pulling down, That's smashing your head and make your controls reverse. Up, up to you. Oh, oh okay. Wall. Um, and you can pass through the purple and... That's right, so, oh, here we go, here's, okay. here's the hash bomb. I'm using your Twitter account, I hijacked your oh, account. Oh, no! And I've turned out the lights. Oh, no, oh, I just no, scored on ourselves. <laughs> no, that was Kevin. Oh, so now Kevin? only the light okay. is around the ball for temp okay, temporarily. Okay, well, that's awkward. Place. I'm glad I know where I started. Oh, no. Let's see, I'm gonna do a couple more here. And anyone uh, watching this game um, who has the hashtag sorry, and the, game, the name of the game, the unique uh, code, can affect the game. They can, and they, they can they can talk to the players of the game, so you'll see their text coming up. And there's special keywords that we call hash bombs that can trigger things. We have about a hundred uh, almost nice job, Jeremy. keywords in there right now. We're, we're going to continue to add more and more. A hundred hash bombs? Yes. Jesus. And you're able to do all kinds of crazy things with that. And we are not going to announce them all. We actually want people to find them. So we were doing a stream for charity a couple weeks ago. And uh, it was kind of disheartening because people, I think, found half of them already. <laughs> is this just the... by spamming with every word they oh, could think of. Oh, that was of. a nice shot. <laughs> um, so that's that was a five-point shot. shot. What? What? Um, there's only like like baseball or basketball or whatever. You, you you have the one map, right? Yeah. So we have one arena. We actually have built into it that's not exposed to the player yet. We have a level editor, and we've we started the game with multiple levels. But this ended up being the best level because we kept refining it, and every played on this default level. So then, so it was almost like we basically through heat mapping and the way people played, tuned this level to perfection. And uh, the other levels just didn't hold up to it, so we weren't going to ship with those. I think later on we will probably try to... Oh, I, I just did a, a Rick roll right at the, uh, the halftime half show, there. which is going to sting. Um, it's halftime. Oh, here you go. So, oh, my gosh. Oh, combat. So at halftime, you it's have over a dozen... I think it's over a dozen or just at least a dozen halftime games you can pick from. This is one of them. This is a tank game. It's tank controls, left and right, oh, okay. and then the trigger to shoot. And you're trying to... to Knock the other guy out. We're obviously influenced by some of our favorite old Atari games. And um, with three on one, you'd think this would be there. You go. Uh, <laughs> I was going to be a little worried. Uh, <laughs> it's a good thing there's no team damage. <laughs> yeah. um, you can turn off the hash bombs and the Twitter stuff and the. Twitch yeah, in chat fact, like, you know, a lot of people might want to just play local and not have anybody bother their game, and you can shut that off. You can also turn on automatic hash bombing. Uh, that the computer will do randomly, okay. and that in case you don't have an internet connection or, or that sort of thing. So if you have eight people gathered around for Thanksgiving or whatever, and you're playing the game, you can. And, but you don't have an internet connection, you can just turn that on and still experience all that stuff. So how much of this, how much of this came from people suggesting stuff on Twitter, and how much? I mean, I know that's a it's, impossible no, question. No, it came, yeah, it started out life nice. being mostly um, stuff that was coming from Twitter. And then over time, when we started taking this to shows and people were playing, we started getting incredible feedback at the shows. Yeah, like so, at, at PAX, I tried to come by and play a couple times, and you had eight people hooked up pretty much all every time I walked by. It was hard. Like it, Those were hard shows to do because like it was just a good churn, which is fantastic. But um, people would play, but also they wanted to have your time to talk about things they would like to see in the game. So that's like very valuable time for us because we wanted that. And so we just created like a, a Google Doc, and we just kept track of every idea that came across. And we would literally, <laughs> <laughs> I just rickrolled it. Uh, we rated everything based off feasibility, how cool it was, and you know, did everybody kind oh, of shot. as a cabal think shot. it was a good idea? <laughs> and it's the only this, shot I can do. 
that is this the kind of thing that took over your evenings and weekends? It and did because this was like you know our day job is to make games and do this stuff, and we did, we weren't planning on this. In fact, like when we went to that GDC, it was just to show off this oh, little shit. fun thing we we're doing. So when people started to get really excited about it, it turned into basically a real project, and we had no time during the day to really do it. So. Kevin and I would work after hours. I would wait till the kids went to bed, get the laptop out, and just start cranking away on the game. And then the next morning, bring it in. We'd have it like over lunch or whatever. We get everybody together and play it. And like, is this working or whatever? But the last few months now have been like hardcore. We, everything kind of nice. went away that we're working on, and we focused on this. <laughs> um. <laughs> I love the announcer. <laughs> Who is your announcer? It's Bob Baffier, oh, our audio oh, engineer. He's, bad. he's he's hilarious, and he did like most of the music in here. One of the songs in the demo mode is from my aunt, who's a country singer songwriter, who was following this also on Twitter, and was like, "Oh, you have all these people giving you stuff. I want to give you something." So she went to the studio and recorded a song for the demo mode. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> um, and, and so the game has AI too, right? So you can it play. Does. Yeah, so right now, like, the AI is used in the single-player mode, because we actually have a single-player story mode that teaches you all the mechanics. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Oh, and it's like Mortal that. Kombat. You, you can check that out in a little bit. Uh, and you go through the tiers, and you, you, you fight all these guys. And there's a whole nice incredible backstory shot, like, about, like, coffee <laughs> and all these other teams. And then um, we also have uh, a Salty Bet-style mode, where it's... You, you should can, explain Salty Bet, because I bet so a lot of Salty Bet is this thing that is. Uh, I think is a phenomenon online, because I, I thought it was amazing where they took this uh, game engine called Mugen, which is a open source fighting engine, and they pit characters against each other, almost like a Robot Wars sort of thing, and people who are following it in the chat feed can bet on who's gonna win in the match. Like and not so, with real money. Not real money, it's all virtual money. And um, so you go in there and you try to build your pot and, and, and you know get the most money out of it. And nice I thought shot, that was a crazy Jerry. mode, and so when we made this AI... Wrong goal. It was you bounced like, it off I think I bounced it down. Yeah. It, it made sense to go ahead and have like a salty bet style mode in there. So we have that, and if we go to the options, you'll see this like fantasy gambling mode, which is our salty bet inspired mode, and then we have uh, the, the single player, and, and also a tournament mode. You can have oh. about 32 teams in a tournament, so you can set up your teams and actually have a big tournament That's bracket and do that. You guys let Kevin win? We lost! Oh, that was close, though. By four that was points? That a close game. That was pretty good. That was a close fill, the, game. fill the tears! So the losing team can cry, and the winning team can actually wiggle the right stick. Usually there's more people on a team, and they can fight over MVP. Whoever's the highest gets MVP. And it's they start off based off how well they did in the game, and it gives them height. It gives you an most advantage. It gives you the advantage. <laughs> Congratulations <laughs> on your <laughs> most valuable Thank you. Well, Thank you. Yeah, Thank you, you did pretty good there. Um, if we rematch, is it going to be the same characters again? Yeah, same characters, so you want to go to... Yeah, let's go, let's, yeah, let's go show some different stuff. Yeah. Oh, wait, okay, yeah, go over there now. We should show some of the creative stuff, too. Yeah, yeah. that's that's the, the thing the thing that's neat is, like, when you said there's a map editor that's not exposed in the initial yep. release, but you can create your own characters, you can bring your own pixel art in. Yep. And Jeremy's here because as a fan of pixel art. True, I'm yeah. a fan of IDAR. And, like, uh, I'd seen the game frame... And I had not followed Jeremy working on the game frame at all. I, I've oh. been like heads down Sorry. working. And when I saw this online, I'm like, this is like our this is like a display for iDark characters. It's amazing. <laughs> and like everybody flipped out in the in the studio. And then we like kind of followed the links. We're like, it's Jeremy. Yeah. <laughs> He's doing it. This is awesome. So, so we begged and pleaded. And uh, but anyways, yeah, here we go. So you can go to teams. We have all these teams in the game. You can browse through these actually if you want. Like you can see we have our built-in teams, like mustache <laughs> cops, moms. The Barbarian Horde and all that stuff. You can make your own theme song? You can make your yes. own theme song and your own flag and your own team characters and everything. Um, so these are the built-in teams. And then we get to the guest team. So if you go here, you see that we have like Cappy, Dive Kick, And these are our friends who Dive are other game developers who, as we were going to shows, we would usually be in the same area with them showing off games. And um, we were just get talking about it, and like, next thing I know, people are like, yeah, we'll put a team in, we'll do this, we'll do that. And the people we actually got to come into the, the, the game, it's been phenomenal. Like, look, it, we got you guys in, yeah. and we got um, Skybound, record. the guys who did Walking Dead. Oh, they nice. got Walking Dead characters and Invincible. And, uh, of course, our, our homegrown team. We have Odd World, we have Double Fine. and I uh, saw Worms. Yeah, Worms, Worms is in there. Worms is actually a really popular team at the show. I think a lot of people who really gravitate to this game are old school gamers, and they remember this game from Team 17. And Team yeah. 17's been phenomenal. They've actually been preaching iDarv in Europe for us, and uh, you couldn't ask for a better oh, kind of awesome. alliance with all these developers. Um, 
now the character, I mean, you can almost just scroll up really fast and see the sheer volume of characters that just come built into it, and you can create like 100 or 200 or maybe probably 250 more or something like that, I think. Something it, like that. Uh, and, going there, so. And you guys have a web, like a web thing that people can go and Yeah, so if you go to uh, uh, idarb.com, you can actually create these characters online because they actually will go in and create a new character. It, it spawns a random character that you get to draw over or erase. And as you're drawing, you can see this QR code changing over here on the side. That code is actually what you can take a picture of and share with your friends. You can put it in front of the Connect and bring your characters to their house. Oh, so cool. the song, the character, and the logo all have QR codes. So you can create your own music and do all that kind of stuff. And That's awesome. And then, yeah, you get the scan and, and bring it out. Um, and then these characters Beautiful you can add mode. to your team. So when you create a team, you go into the character picker and you pick all your characters for your team. And then the next thing you do if you go out, you can go to the logos. And here you just create a new logo, and you do the same kind of thing. It's like a character on its side. And this is the stuff that comes up in the game behind your characters and at the beginning to show who's... Who. Okay. And the song, if you actually get to make a song here, and so we've got a new song. This is actually a tracker. Hit um, yeah, hit start here if you want. You mean hamburger. I yeah. <laughs> Let me see your controller here. Uh, Mike's great at this. I don't know. I'm not that good at it. That's why I, I actually demonstrate because people laugh. But um, Okay, see. so on the y-axis you have notes, and on the x-axis yeah. you have time. So we can actually put like a drum beat. Oh, I'll go here. Like. I love that you can see the QR code changing. Yeah, yeah that's super cool. Song coming to life, and you can like, uh, I'll just get the tempo going a little bit higher. It's like reading the Matrix. Yeah, yes. and you've got four right tracks. <laughs> Kevin, can you actually read that code? You've been the one who built this. Uh, not really. <laughs> you'd, you'd think I would at this point, but oh, I'm not that good at this. It's gonna get a weird beat here. It's okay. So We're not going to judge you. Oh, you're going to judge me. I know oh, you know. We, we'll absolutely judge you, but you know. Let's see, I'm going to get the this is like grunts up here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Mike's favorite instruments. It is. I mean, when you got a keyboard as a, keyboard as a kid, the first thing you did oh, was, man. was load a bunch of, uh, a bunch <laughs> of weird sounds whatever, yeah. into the, yeah. Oh, burps, you guys were classy. Yeah, we were. So what are the there four colors? Go. I mean, obviously the, the the four buttons. What do they do? So these the colors up there at the top. So yeah. if I if I actually want to go to a new track, I can oh. see how that goes transparent. Yeah. Now I can pick a different instrument. Oh, and you onion skins it. Yeah. So onion cool. skins yeah. it. So That's now you know clever. where your other stuff. Where your pizza's yeah. Are. Oh, neat. Terrible. That's, yeah, that's <laughs> so you can make these. People have made some crazy songs. Like uh, really one of the guys in the studio made some awesome Street Fighter tunes. And so when you when you're online playing against people and you win, this is your victory tune. Nice. So you can like make the most obscene thing you want or whatever. Do something really funny. And like, other people will hear it even if they don't have the code. Yeah, even if they don't have the code because like, awesome. your victory yeah. tune goes on. Well, because it's what it's a QR code, so it's like 128 bytes. Yeah, it's or something. tiny. Yeah. It's tiny. That's yeah. awesome. Yep. So we get the four tracks, all the instruments, everything, all in the 128 bytes, and share that anytime. And then our hope is people will create these songs and share them online to people. And like, hey, I made this cool thing, you should yeah. use it, and all that stuff. So, so that's that. And then the other day we have our online mode. We have the almanac. That's where we have um, our recipe book, our achievements. <laughs> so every time you unlock an achievement, you actually unlock recipes in the game. Because it's a party game, right? So uh, the <laughs> thought was, like, you should be able to have party food at these events that you have with your friends and all stuff. So we had people from all over the place give us um, recipes that we've included in the game. And one of my favorites is the uh, pumpkin bread. Abby Hepp from uh, Respawn, who did Titanfall, she's actually the voice that says, you know, prepare for Titanfall. She gave us her mom's pumpkin bread recipe, which is really good. <laughs> and so we put that in there, but we also got her to uh, do the line from the game that's prepare for Titanfall. We have her like, prepare for pumpkin bread, and like, stand by for pumpkin bread. So randomly when you go in here, you'll hear that. It's awesome. Nobody else probably cares, but like, I keep going to this, like all the time, just laugh every time that's it happens. That's ridiculous, yeah, it's wonderful. She was like in her car, and she just recorded on her iPhone. Like, that's good, that's good. We'll just get that, and we'll modulate and do some fun stuff. <laughs> Um, well, cool. Do you guys want to play one more game? Let's we'll, play one yeah, more we'll, game. We'll call it. Yep. Um, there you go. I, I, oh, single player. Do you want to show the single player at oh, all? Oh, yeah, go to single yeah, player really quick. And, player. like, uh, go ahead and start up. You get to see... <laughs> you guys do, it's Peanuts voices, right? It is. That helps with localization. It does. We didn't want to localize that at all. <laughs> we didn't even want to do a single player game, but then like people were like, I want to be able to play like by myself. And we're like, oh, fine. So he's really bad at first. It gets really good. Uh, like the teams get good later. And actually, when you defeat a team later on, certain members of that team will join your team and then help you oh, get okay. through the, the ranks or things. So you'll be playing with other AI characters in the single player. 
and uh, going up against the, the rest so of So these chains, is this a single player element? It's a single player element. So the, okay. the, the maps change based off tournament mode or single player. Oh, interesting. Uh, we're really inspired, like we love Mortal Kombat, so this is like, re re like reminiscent of one of the maps in there. And then the second one is reminiscent of another one, and then the final one is reminiscent from another Mortal Kombat. Thing. So uh, we just kind of switched it up. We work, we've we actually worked on some Mortal Kombat games before and stuff like that. So uh, a lot of the people who love iDarb are really big Mortal Kombat fans because we kept getting characters online that were all these Mortal Kombat nice characters. Shot, so yeah. it just seemed fitting That's to try shot. to... I thought that was That's Kevin. The shot. That's the shot. <laughs> that was nice. That's the shot. Oh, Kevin, man. show the... Uh, the oh, yeah. We're, we can back out of this one now. We can do a double, double button if you do start and select. View and menu, you mean? Oh, yeah. View and menu. Sorry. Hamburger sorry. and two squares. <laughs> yeah, hamburger and two squares. <laughs> two square, you will find out when your, your kids get a little bit older, is the game of choice in elementary school. Really? I, I can't get the rules straight. We used to play four square when so I was So did I, kid. but not yeah. two square. You start two square, and then you move up to four square when you get to fourth grade. Seems that makes sense. I guess. Okay. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Four. They both have four. So. Like my, my it checks son, out. The it math checks is out. Going. My son explains it that if you're in kindergarten, you start in two square, and okay. then you, and the, the fourth graders don't let you play. I would think that kindergarten would be zero square. No, but they they, they mean, start them young now. Okay. Like, I, okay. Not my day. Like, Fantasy my day. gambling. Yeah, that's that's the sign me up. <laughs> Norm's in. Kevin, you should you should go to your game, but Kevin should show you guys how the multiplier score works. Do you think you can pull that off, Kevin? I think I can do may, maybe. Okay, so let's get you guys back in on your teams. All right, I'm over here. Bacon power will help. Okay, yeah, um, get your bacon should power. We, should we do a real game? A two v two? You feel? I mean, like beating up like on Kevin? Can, no. Okay, Kevin, it's still Kevin against you guys. I think right. that's a good way to go. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Are these double? Oh, these oh, yeah, are custom quest fine. characters. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. It'll be interesting to see what characters the pro players design I know. for themselves, right? I know. That's like, I'm really curious. Once they really stand out, I would think some sort of real content. So some people have already, like, some of the shows, people would bring their characters, and they would come as a team, and they wanted to play, you know, against other people. Uh -huh. And they were really smart. They would come up with, like, a unified look, like some really boxy character, right. but they would have very bold colors to know who was who, so it was very easy to spot each other yeah. on the map. That makes sense. And then some people come where, like, they're just one pixel, and they're like, oh, this is going to be great, but then they were the losers because it's like, really hard to know where you were. Yeah, they couldn't, yeah. they couldn't figure it out. Um, Twitter handles under the names. If that's for the created teams right, right here that um, are the guest teams. We do that, but uh, when you create your own teams, we don't we don't okay. share that information just for safety guidelines stuff. We did for a little while. Uh, I bet that was frowned upon. It was frowned upon by the man, and it made sense. But this game, I mean, we kind of built this to be anything goes. So it's like we. I'm glad we went that far, <laughs> letting people do whatever they want with oh, this thing. No. Oh, nice oh. shot. Oh. Way to go, Bacon! Man. Let's see. It looks like is that an I five R U, Kevin? I think. Yeah. I five R U. I five R U. Do we want to show the uh, rocket? Oh, the oh yeah, there you go. So you wiggle the right stick and you build up fizz. Because one of the earliest suggestions oh was goodness. somebody. Oh, somebody's gonna go in the penalty box. Uh, one of the earliest suggestions was that somebody thought they looked like cans because they were just solid color blocks for a while. I thought they looked like soda cans, so somebody said, like, make it so you could shake the fizz and rock it around. So Time we put that in. Right there. Jeremy, did you just... There you nice. go. I might have helped out. Can you bomb <laughs> us? Yeah, I'm going to bomb you. Let's see. I'm trying to think of a good one. What do you think, Kev? What's a good one? Someone set us up the bomb. Uh, oh, in fact, I will do Dude. a bomb. Let's do that. That's the only one I know. High five are you. High five are you. Oh, sorry. Oh, well, that was I thought bad. that was right. I outran it. That wasn't your bad. Passing's tricky. There's a, there's a definite... Yeah, you, you, once you figure out how it actually works, it tries to look ahead of the player. And if you're really close to somebody and pass, that's a dangerous thing to do because it's going to try to take that angle you have and just go nuts. And so you'll often miss a pass when you're too close in weird angles. Mm. So, you, this one you got busy. Do it. <laughs> I'm going to do... Oh, the bomb's here. Oh, there so there. that bomb, when it starts flashing, oh, oh, is going to oh, explode. Oh, oh, oh. Throw it in. Oh, no. You don't want to be near it when it explodes. <laughs> you will go into the penalty box. <laughs> okay. Hey, but, I'm down here at the bottom, guys. But it's worth double points if you score with it. It's double points if you score so. with it. And that's that trick shot. If you can get the three times multiplier from a five pointer with the bomb, you'll get 30 <laughs> points in one shot. It's not. That's, you make it sound so simple. <laughs> it's super easy. I'd like to point out we're actually winning. Well, I'm going but, for trick shots here. And he's so. in the penalty box right now, that too. That mm -hmm. does not change the fact that we're winning. You're right. I missed. I'm gonna keep bombing here. Oh, I missed again. Oh no, the beer. This or is the water. water. This is water. You just get to swim around. Oh, we're faster though. You get you skim around in the water. Okay. So. Come on, Will. Everybody's Take buoyant. Us home. I wonder what That's I can do. Let's see. Whoa. Okay, what's, a, what's another good bomb? What do you like? What makes you win? Whoa, Norm. Norm is <laughs> sparkly and. I'm on fire. Oh, it's one. dark. I'm so when scared. you're on fire. 
does it negate the ability? Yeah, so to play when you games. have the ball and you're on fire, it slows you down <laughs> a little bit. Uh, but if you're uh, when you're not on fire, but if you're on fire, it does not slow you down. So you actually get to go run full speed with the ball. Gives uh, you a little but, bit of advantage. But if someone modifies it and turns off the lights when you're on fire, do you act as a flashlight? You do. I, well, I think it does a little bit. And then also, if the water comes up, it puts it out. Oh. So if you jump oh, in the flood, you'll you'll do that. Well, I tried to block. Look at I that. saw that. So the block is really quick, huh? It goes quick, yeah, because like uh, when there's a lot of people watching, that block comes up so a lot. To be clear, people watching on Twitch oh, can oh, block oh. the goals. They can block the goals. Yes. And then they get a credit on they screen. They get a credit on do. screen for blocking it. So their name will come up and it'll be like, you know, Mike Micah blocked the goal. And and it seems like shot strength is is determined based on how hard you pull the trigger. Yes. That... So it's, it's like the Mario jump in a way. Like your jump, how high you jump is how hard you hit it and quickly. Same with the trigger. Like the harder you do it, the further it goes. If you just tap oh, it, it'll be a light, yeah. light one. Wow. I missed the block. That's how you do it. Now an alley oop will get you That's two times. So if, if somebody is in the air when you pass them the ball and they make the shot before they land, you get a two times multiplier on that. Oh, you leave it oh, wide open for corner. me. Oh my god, another one. Wide open. Hey Norm, what do you hate more than anything else in the world? <laughs> Losing. No one Someone else is from <laughs> Barrel roll. Oh. oh. <laughs> do not like. <laughs> Can you turn know. off individual um, bombs in your You games? can't turn off individual bombs. It's like all on or all off. And um, but like oh, one I of the things we wanted to put in here, and we'll probably do it in an update, is a playlist, so you can actually create like hash bomb playlists. Okay. And that, that would work with the automated and not automated and all that. They're helpful. Stuff. All right. Oh, so oh, just shoot ducks. ducks. It's an uh, unlicensed. Uh, it's not hunting ducks. Yeah, yeah no, this is Mallard. <laughs> <Mellor, Mellor laughs> shoot. Ducks. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this before. Um, yeah, yeah. It's like uh, I have yet to kill a duck. Anything goes at the halftime games. We have all these weird modes. You saw there's a there's a tank mode in there. There's a space game, and then we use the connect for stuff too. So wait, you use the connect? You use the connect. We have a kiss cam. So okay. at any time they could come up and encourage I'm people who are playing. I'm not kissing Mike even if the cam comes up. Oh, only on camera you won't kiss it's me. Nothing personal. Uh, I just love this and happening. then we also have like a, a, whoever yells the loudest for their team gets okay. the, the the win. All, right. all the typical oh, sports wow. yeah, yeah. shenanigans. What else do I have? I'm trying to think. All of these. Things. Okay, he's on fire, guys. Come on, let's do something about this. Nice, Will. Oh, good pass. That was my, my 3x multiplier no, shot. No, no. Take it you in. can't stop the bacon. No. Ah! You can't stop the bacon. <laughs> That's great. Take it in, Will. Nope. You guys are getting a lot better in just this quick sit down. It's. I mean, the thing is, when you oh, rainbow's <laughs> nice. When you start playing, there's a there's uh, a nice, opening yeah. period where you kind of can't keep up with what's going on. Yeah. And then after, I mean, it's, it is like. It's chaos. Nice. When you yeah, start oddly reminiscent of yeah. like, like I said, like NHL '94, '95, that kind of that kind of era game to me. Um, but oh. then after a while, you you it becomes much easier to know what's going on. Yeah. That's why okay. I, I kind of I'm so happy that happened because it's really hard to to get it to the point to where people can like learn That's the cool. game naturally and organically. Am I Parappa? You are now a clown. I summon a clown show in your name. Well, in I mean, your that's honor. not too far from the truth, really. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's clowns, too. It's yep. not just one. Oh, it, does, it affects everybody. So like we have things that will go in and like oh, no. just affect both teams at the same time. It seemed unfair to try to pick teams. That's, that's it. Nice. Shoot, Norm. Shoot. Oh, you blocked no, it. I didn't block it. That was a good shot, though, Norm. You're good at that. Oh boy. Okay, we got. We're down by um, one. One point. <laughs> the end of the third quarter. All right. Three on one. You can no do mercy. This. What Kevin was doing there was just, just wiggling the right stick just a little bit and then pulling the trigger to get a dash because it oh, doesn't nice turn block. Block. That was good. Nice block. That was a that really was good dash. Pure luck. Can you <laughs> dash through walls? You can't dash through walls, but okay. it'll get you a nice jump. You can jump from the bottom of the map to the oh, top. Oh, Norm, back to you. Oh, I no, did a toasty. Toast. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Is that a Mortal Kombat? Oh, thing? it's a little Mortal Kombat. Don't, don't let him do it. Right. Oh. If you guys get the ball, I'm like, wait. <laughs> it's only three points. We're good. We got a minute. You're not, yeah, you're not far behind here. Come on, Jeremy. Oh. oh. I feel like I need to start bombing some more here. No, that's okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's okay. Right. okay. Or we went right between your legs, and you don't even have legs. <laughs> yes. Nice job, Jeremy. Okay. Four points. Oh. 
Oh. Go in. The bacon. Goal. Stop the bacon. Go in. Go. Oh, I am just God. piling them on. Pass it. Oh, you gotta pass it. You should be able to get it all the way to me. Oh no. no it's gonna oh, affect you a little bit. The physics take over after a point, huh? Yeah, you can get half court maybe. Oh no! Turn on the puke train. Everything's tiny. Oh my god, this is. <laughs> oh, you're a monster. <laughs> I totally blocked that. Watch this. Wow. <laughs> Boom. Oh! oh you, you, right you, stopped me, you stopped me from getting five points, though, yeah. by scoring on yourself. Oh, so doppels. That's, that's this kind of a It's a mirror version of yourself to really mess people up. Oh. You can't stop the bees. This is monstrous. <laughs> you people are bad people. <laughs> thank you guys so much for bringing this by. Oh, no, thank yeah, you for having us. Um, this is awesome. And, and for putting us in the game. I mean, <laughs> holy cow. So, uh, if people want to find out more, URL is IDARB game. Oh, well, it's, uh, it's IDARB.com. And okay. then we have at IDARB game to follow us on Twitter. And you can always follow Mike J. Micah because I put most of the updates through there and it feeds on over. And uh, always give us uh, requests too. So on idarb.com, you can go to the suggestion box still and throw in ideas because we're going to continually update this. Game. Keep, it's keep, the fun's going to keep on coming. Yep. Yep. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for coming by. We'll see you guys uh, next time on Tested. Bye.